Hello, my wonderful weasels. Welcome back to the Game Cave and welcome back to RimWorld. We will continue our little tutorial here with Bob the Blob Saggy. He is sleeping soundly and while he's sleeping, I think that it'll be a good time for us to go over all the different things that you can do in the game. And more precisely this time, I will I would like to go over what you can do in the architect. Then later we'll do work, restrict, assign and all of these. But first of all, architect. We'll go over all of, all of these in this video and then in, in the next one we'll move on to the others. So first off here, orders pretty much says itself. That This is all the things you can order your men to do, like mine, haul things, cut plants, harvest, chop wood, hunt, slaughter, tame, uninstall, claim, strip, rearm, trap, open uh, something and plan st stuff. I want. Uh, I'd like to go over these each if you already know all of these, then jump to this point in the video where I will go on to, to the next one to zone an area. But if you don't know these, I'll just quickly go over them. So, mine, that's pretty much what you want to do if you want to mine something here. That's all of these, like this and this, this and this, all the hills or the mountains that that you can extract something from. Here you will get, this is a slate, mountain slate block, slate, whatever you want to call it. So you will get slate blocks out of them. It's like, um, some, something like this, yeah. You can use these slate uh, chunks to create slate bricks, slate tiles, which then can be used to, let's see, here. You can see this is, a, as, as you can see down here, it says limestone tile. Which means that you can lay the floor. Lay a floor. We'll get to that later. But you can also build a limestone wall. Of course, you need a limestone chunk, not a slate chunk to build limestone. Yeah. And if you uh, want to get other components like compact machinery, if you mine this, you will get a component, which is used to uh, build electrical stuff and something like that. So yes, that's pretty much what you can do with mining. Haul stuff basically means that if you want to um, remove some of these chunks from your home, you go into to zone and then you build a dumping stockpile where you want to dump those and then you ask Bob the Blob or your own pawn to actually haul this and then he'll put it, put it over here. Good. Cut plants basically means to cut everything that's living. Every living plant will be cut. As opposed to harvest, which means, let's see here, we have a bush. Harvest will only take the berries from the bush. Uh, the bush will remain, which means that it will, it will have fruit, fruit on it at a later point. If you cut it, you will remove the, the bush and it won't be there anymore. You can also harvest if you've got crops, if you've got uh, other plants that you want to harvest. It will only select them if they are ready to be harvested, which means that they have to be fully grown. I have tried to be to look after another kind of plant that you can harvest, but I don't really seem to know... I, I, I can't seem to find a plant like that anywhere. So, I, basically, I'll just have to do a video about that uh, later on when I do, or maybe later in this video when I do some zoning, perhaps. But that's uh, that's what you can do with harvest. Chop wood only refers to trees, and it only refers to fully grown trees. You can see this one wasn't uh, wasn't selected because it's only twenty four percent grown. So yeah, there's that. Hunt basically means that whenever there's an animal, you can select them and the, your pawn or pawns will hunt them, kill them, and uh, yeah, hunt and kill them. Slaughter means if you have a pet, you can slaughter that. We have Aristotle. I can ask Bob to slaughter him, but because they are bonded, slaughtering Aristotle will make Bob unhappy. So we'll just cancel that. Very good. Tame 
basically the same thing as hunt, except that you can tame a wild animal instead of hunting it. But beware, some animals, or most animals, can end up attacking you, or attacking your pawn, if you are unsuccessful, which you probably will be the first few times, but... As far as I can tell, it's only one in 20 or 50 times that you fail that the animal will actually attack you. So there's a little a low chance of, uh, of, of it attacking you. Let's see here. 0.3 chance. Okay, so that's one in 300. Let's see here. 0.3 chance. 0.3. What did that say? Let's see. Yeah, this, that's not important. Right, uninstall basically means that you can ask Bob to uninstall the bed. This will not destroy the bed, he will just uninstall it and then he will probably place it over here and not install it so he can sleep on it, but it will be there so you can put it somewhere else. Then you can in install it again. So that's what uninstall means and it can be used to uninst uninstall pretty much any furniture or any object that you create and place inside of your colony. Claim is what you want to do with other uh, buildings like this one. You can find another one here. As you can see, this is not yours, so you can claim it. Now it's mine, or it's Bob's. I don't really know what it does exactly, other than if it is damaged, then the the pawns will automatically go and repair it if it's inside of your um, of your home zone area. There, if it's inside here and you claim it, they will tend to it and repair it. Other than that, I don't think it has has a use. Great. Strip basically means if you have a prisoner or a uh, a patient, you can actually strip them and take their clothes. Rearm trap. In the security tab you can build a trap. If that trap is sprung, you can rearm it. That pretty much says itself. Open. I know of two things that can be opened. A grave and a uh, cryo cryogenic sleeping pot or whatever that was. Yeah. And basically sometimes a random event will happen where you will find a cryogenic sleeping pot. It could be behind this wall. I will get to that at a later video, but if you find that you can open open them with this command. Planning, well, pretty much pretty easy to, to see what that could be. But if you want to build something and you want to plan it, you can use this to plan it beforehand. If you've watched my prison architect videos, you will know that I'm a big believer in planning stuff before that before you do it. And you can remove the plan by clicking on this and doing that. Good. This was orders. Now we go move on to zone and area. There are a few different zones. I have gone through them in a little, uh, in, a, in a, a little bit in my previous videos. Stockpiling zone is what we have here. If we build one here, it basically means that your pawns will put stuff in here which uh, which are dis designated to be in there. And the good thing about this is you can choose it for yourself. If you want only steel to be in here, this is steel chunks. If you want, if you don't want them want to be here and you and you want it to be over there instead, you can open up the storage. Just uh, choose this place, choose the the zone or the stockpile zone and then click storage. Then there is a whole list of things here. This is fairly intuitive where each of the of the the objects go into like steel would go in uh, would could be found on the raw resources and then just steel which means that we'll unclick that here and then we will just remember to clear all here if you only want to have steel in there clear all and then allow steel this will mean that steel isn't allowed here but it's allowed here which means that once uh, blob or the blob wakes up <clears throat> he will automatically put the steel up there so that's uh, that's pretty pretty handy way to for you to choose where you want 
each and everything to go. I uh, I like the, the mechanics of that. Great. The next dumping stockpile zone is exactly the same thing, except that the default settings are different here than they are here in the stockpile zone. Here, <clears throat> for example, uh, it's uh, rotten things, like a rotting corpse. Corpses are allowed here, chunks, which means these are allowed, and uh, some weapons and some apparel. So basically, a dumping stockpile has different starting uh, requirements than a stockpile zone. Yeah. Growing zone means that if you want to build something, <coughs> not build, if you want to grow something, you need a growing zone. There we go. Once you have a growing zone, you can select it and choose what you want to plant. And uh, you don't need seeds to plant, you can just plant whatever you want. Which uh, isn't really realistic, but it's it's nice and easy. I have played games where if you want to plant potatoes, you need potatoes first, and if you don't have them, it can be difficult. So you can plant whatever you want straight away if you have a high enough skill. Like heal root here, this is the basic, very uh, the very basic medicine that you want to uh, to plant. You need a pawn with a minimum of eight skills skill in uh, in growing we'll see on a character what bob here has he has six which means that he can't grow medicine yet but uh, we'll grow something else like rice rice is the fastest growing food that you can grow in the game right delete zones pretty much says itself you can delete any part or any zone that you want to delete like there. So now we have deleted all of our zones. Expand home area. This is basically where you want your people to think of home. And it doesn't really have many uses except for two as I can think of at the moment. If there is a fire, let's let's uh, start a fire. Let's see explosion flame. This was this is development to tools this is not a part of the game except if you have if you have enabled development mode i have done it here so that i can show you stuff but but see we have started a fire here which means that the game has is telling you that you have a fire in your base if we remove if we clear the home area the game doesn't care about the fire because you shouldn't care about the fire since it's not in your home base area. That will mean that if the fire spreads and it, uh, it spreads all the way over to here, then it will tell you and Bob will automatically go and fight the fire, but only the fire that is inside your home boundaries. A nice trick if you want to, if, if a fire breaks out and you can see, okay, if this if this spreads to all of this place. If I let it be, it will spread to all of this place. Or uh, all over this place. So I better go get it now. You can ask him to go and firefight it. Uh, prioritize each and every flame. Just like prioritize that, prioritize that, prioritize that. But I'd much rather just do this. Boink, and then he will automatically focus on the fire. So I like that. To do that. Expand build roof area you can expand this and of course clear it i have used this as you can see i have expanded the roof beyond my walls here and i have built a roof over here over my stockpile zone it's a it's a pretty resource light on resource method of making sure that the things you have in your stockpile zone isn't deteriorating or doesn't deteriorate by building one pillar and then building uh, a roof over there because you you only need resources to build a pillar not to build the roof so that's and if of course if i want to uh, clear these i can do this this won't make him remove the roof it simply deletes the area that we have designated if you want him to remove it you can use this one expand no roof area so if we do if we do this, then in the morning when he wakes up, he will automatically remove, or he will at some point remove the roof that we have out here. Clear this, it's just 
to remove that. Great. And uh, snow clear area pretty much says itself. If there is snow, he will clear the snow inside of this area. And uh, if we remove it, then then we have removed it. So then we get to a a zone that I didn't really know about for a long, long time. Allowed area. Expand allowed area. This is something that you can uh, do in uh, in restricting in under restrict and under animals. I want to show you with Aristotle, our dog. I want him to only have access to our animal area. So I go in here, expand allowed area, then I can designate where the animal area is. If I only want him to be indoors, I can do this. Then he will automatically go in there and he will stay in there. I can also expand it to further and he will just go around there. If I clear it, he will be confused. <laughs> um, he will just go wherever he wants. So that's uh, what I want to show you for now. But later on, I will uh, I will go into a little bit more detail with that. Good. This was zone and area. Structure, we'll be doing that here. Roof support is a mod, so you probably won't see that. Door and wall and deconstruct. If you want to, to, de to deconstruct something, we can go there and he will deconstruct it. If you want to build something, we just do this and do that. If we want to build with another material, we just click once and use from one of these. But it requires us to have the material in one of our stockpile zones or inside of our home base, I think. If you don't have, like, um, let's say a plasteel, we have pl compacted plasteel there, we haven't mined that yet, we don't have that resource, which means that we can't build something from that resource. Good. That was structure. On to production. Under production, you can build all of this stuff, all of the the machines, all of the benches, all of the all of the things that you need to progress. Like if you if you have uh, killed an animal and you want to butcher that, you want to build a butcher's table. I will show you this later in a separate video, simply because it's an item for itself. But if you have something like a butcher's table or a sculptor's table or a tailor table or a stove or something you have to tell your pawns what you want to do with that and you do that with bills you, you go in, into bills and then you can ask them to do something like butcher a creature butcher a creature means that you take a creature that has been killed you remove its hide and store it away so you can make clothes out of that and you take the meat and put it somewhere that you, that you can make food out of that. If you just say add bill, put your creature, it will only do, do it one time. You can ask them to do it many times. You can ask them to do it until you have something, but that doesn't work with, with this particular uh, thing here. But you can also say do forever, which means that every time you have a creature, you will butcher it. If we go into uh, the stove, you'll see cook simple meal we'll do that until we have and then he will do that until he has how many you choose here it's a pretty fine way to to make sure that if you have a refrigerated room they don't use all of the time the pawns on making food if you have a lot of raw materials a, a lot of raw food like a lot of meat then they won't make meals out of that if it's not necessary so it's a it's a pretty good way to, to do that but you can also just say do forever and then they will just keep making meals as long as you have the ingredients for it great that was under produ uh, production let's move on it's just the same list. yeah let's move on to furniture and this pretty much says itself furniture bed stool dining table plant lamp and all of that this, just, this is just all the furniture that you can build. You click on it and you place it. If you want to bring it out of a different material, click once and then just choose the other material. So, pretty self-explanatory. Great. On to power. Power is everything electrical. A wind turbine to uh, to generate wind, to generate power from wind. A solar panel to generate so, uh, power from solar energy. Fueled generator, if you wanted to uh, cut down trees and and uh, burn them in here and then get power from that. 
battery to store whatever power that you have gathered so that you can use it when you aren't generating like solar is only during daytime uh, wind turbine is only when it's windy of course and fuel if you run out of fuel it's good to have stored uh, some power in a battery yeah and then of course there is the power conduit where you can lay down uh, power cables to the things that need electricity great that was power on to security these two this and this is a uh, <clears throat> yeah this and this is is a mod so you won't be seeing that a trap basically you you build a trap if an enemy walks over it <laughs> they will be damaged improvised turret if you have uh, Later in game we'll have more things here, but at this moment we have improvised turret. If you have started with uh, another start that I have, I started with, with the rich explorer. Um, if you started with one of the others, you won't have the improvised turret. Sandbags provides cover. When, you, when they've been built, you can stand behind them and they provide cover for you f uh, so that you aren't such an easy target for other people to shoot at. Great. That was security onto miscellaneous. Miscellaneous is pretty much miscellaneous. There's a grave here. If uh, if there's a dead body you want to bury, then you build one of these. Marriage spot when one of, when two of your pawns want to get married. Party spot. These aren't necessary. Caravan spot. Packing spot. Packing spot is a uh, is a mod, so you won't be seeing that. Marriage and party. They aren't necessary, but if you want to designate a place to have the parties, then you can do that. Sarcophagus, oh, that's something you also can open uh, from here, the order here where you can uh, where you can open. Yeah, sarcophagus also to bury dead bodies. Tool cabinet, comms console. Uh, this is for you to contact other colonies and for trading purposes later in game. And the same with orbital trade beacon, you use them, them together. Great, that was miscellaneous. Flaws is pretty self-explanatory. Choose the kind of floor that you want and then just lay it down. Some of it is fast to lay. Some of it is very, very slow to lay down. Some of it is uh, pretty to look at. Some of it is ugly. You can um, you can read about it if, uh, you, if you hover your mouse about it or if you click one of them, you can read about it over here. Great, that was flaws onto joy. Your pawns need joy sources to stay happy. The most normal thing to do is simply put down a horse shoe pin. Or, well, yeah, horse shoes pin. Just put it there, it will be built, and then they will throw horse shoes at it. You can also put, put a chess table inside. You can put a billiard table in uh, some place. These three is also from a mod, so you won't be seeing that. But basically, this is just to make sure that your pawns stay happy so that they don't go on a murderous rampage. Uh, simply because they don't have TV or something. All work and no play makes Blob a blobby boy. Yeah. Onward to ship. There is nothing here. At the moment we can toggle God mode and see what it is here. Basically, you can use a ship to get off planet or to move to another place on the planet. I'll be honest with you, I have never gotten to that place yet. <laughs> so I don't know much about it, but I will make another video about it at a, later, at, a, at a later point, where I, of course, will have familiarized myself with it. Good. The last thing is temperature. And basically, as I told you in a previous video, there is temperature. Sometimes you have a heat wave, sometimes you have a cold snap, where it's, it will either be so hot or so cold that your pawns can actually die from it. To counter that, there are two things you can do. Uh, these three is also a mod, so you can't see that. But you can install a heater if it's too cold, you can install a, install a cooler if it is too... Uh, cooler if it is too if it's too hot of course and you may notice here that a cooler has a warm this that's the red side and a cold that's the blue side a warm and a cold side of course if you want to 
cool this room down, you'll have to build it here. If you want to heat it up, you'll have to build it here. The last thing inside the temperature is... Oh yeah, there's passive cooler. Um, if you have researched that, this lowers the temperature to 15 degrees Celsius. So it's not refrigerated, but it's, it's uh, cold enough so that people are comfortable even though there even if there is a heat wave outside but a vent you can build a vent here basically it cancels out the temperature differences between two rooms if you have a hot temperature here and a cold here if you do this then it will just connect and they will have roughly the same temperature great this was the entire architect window with everything gone into excruciating detail of course, there are things that I haven't gone into because I haven't researched them yet, but I don't think they are very necessary to go into details about them at this point because this is a beginner's tutorial. You won't be able to... to you Unless you use the God mode, you won't have these options at this point. So this is just has just been a video to show you how to get started with, <coughs> with this, with the architect window. So... I hope you liked it. I hope that I didn't ramble too much and that I stayed fairly <laughs> on course. <laughs> nope. <laughs> yeah. I will end the video here. Thank you so much for being here the Game Cave, guys. If you liked the video, please give it a like or a comment. I really appreciate any and all feedback from you guys. Um, that it really, it really warms my heart to uh, to make something that you people actually enjoy. If you don't enjoy it, and if you think I could approve, then please let me know as well. I strive to do the best that I can, and uh, I, of course, want to hear what I can improve upon. One thing that springs to mind is, uh, is to be able to talk without pausing between every third word. <laughs> yeah. Um, I haven't done videos like this in a very long time so i have to get into the habit of talking fluently and talking continuously again anyways thank you so much for being here at the game cave guys i will see you in the next video bye